and welcome to Salens Innovation and Insight Week 2022. My name is Arin Ray and I am a senior analyst with Salens Risk Practice. I am here to announce the Salent Model Risk Manager Award winner for 2022 for the category Data Analytics and AI. And the winner of this award is ABN AMRO, which is one of the largest banks in Europe. In this winning initiative, the bank has deployed a solution to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of their KYC investigation process. This solution is powered by advanced network analytical capabilities that will help them, the bank to better understand the connections between its corporate clients and also improve data quality. To talk more about this initiative, I'm delighted to be joined by Paul Westrick who is a product owner at ABN AMRO. Welcome, Paul, and congratulations for winning the award. Thank you, thank you. I received this. It's, uh, it's there, thanks. Great, thank you. So could you start with talking about why the bank undertook this initiative at this point of time? Yes, of course. So a little bit of background then. Um, so. If you look at financial crime, the KYC activities, uh, they're very time consuming. The operational costs are high and the compliance requirements are, are evolving continuously. So for ABN AMRO, the generic desired outcome of this initiative was to better understand the connections between companies who serve as bank, our clients, and to improve on data and information quality. So from a compliance perspective, it's a regulatory requirement for ABN AMRO to understand who exactly we're doing business with. But the extensive volume of data and the bank's highly complex nature means finding connections among parties and transactions can be a challenge. Um, by bringing together the bank's extensive data on, on this single platform, you can connect the dots within that data and construct a global view of parties, transactions, relations, uh, etc. And Eben Ambro would be able to generate a holistic view of parties and counterparties. And basically that's reducing our chances of missing risk. Um, it enables us to, to have a deeper understanding and recognition of risks and threats uh, and empower more informed, accurate and consistent investigations and decision making. Also from an efficiency per perspective, the investigative teams would be able to reduce their time spent on gathering data on understanding that data and information and trying to differentiate legitimate and potentially suspicious activity and instead use their time and resources more effectively. Um, so by automating these processes, we can basically enable them to focus on genuine risk. And in the end, uh, that's also nice, of course, it helps to improve the overall client experience. Mm -hmm. So that, that's, that's mainly the, uh, the main motivations of, uh, of doing this. So could you talk about the exact solution that you developed and how you went about deploying it in the bank? So the solution uh, we're talking about is the contextual decision intelligence platform of, of Contexa, company Contexa. Um, they utilize entity resolution and network generation, and that helps to, to continuously evaluate each customer and their financial crime risk throughout their, their life cycle. Um, so this, this product supports a continuous KYC approach and well, efficiency and effectiveness uh, is increased, breaks down barriers between the previously siloed uh, processes. So what we did is uh, we executed the proof of concept with the vendor, um, did that for KYC onboarding or new client take on is uh, what we call it uh, within the back. Um, and it, yeah, what we basically did in that proof of concept is evaluate Contexas product uh, on a few um, uh, capabilities. First, the capability to, to process large data volumes, uh, the ability to work with various data sources, um, the ability to identify potential risks uh, associated with that customer data, and to identify the legal, legal hierarchies of, uh, of our clients. So what we did, um, we installed the platform on our own environment. We onboarded the most important internal and external data sources. 
and we focused on executing entity resolution on those sources. And secondly, we focused on creating those legal hierarchies. And you talked about Quantexa, so why did you decide to work with them? Yeah, yeah, so uh, we did a vendor selection process and uh, during the, the, the proof of concept, Quantexa demonstrated that their technology uh, was, was able to address our challenges um, that, that were in scope of our proof of concept. Uh, what's nice about this platform is that it that it combines both entity resolution and graph or network analytics, and and that's a strong combination. Also, uh, the escapability or or platform uh, can be used by by analysts in the user interface, but we can also use it in in a batch mode uh, to produce data and information for other uh, detecting financial crime systems. So that that's that's what's nice about this. Uh, about this platform. Mm -hmm. And could you also share uh, the timeline and also key milestones for this project and how long it took you to complete it? So we started in uh, October 2019. Um, initiation of the proof of concept, uh, finding out what we uh, what we wanted to prove exactly. Um, and starting uh, starting with the installation. Uh, within eight, eight weeks, we uh, we installed the platform. Um, of our uh, on our IT environment. In first quarter of 2020, we delivered the um, the proof of concept with the internal client database and the worldwide company registry data sets, uh, and did entity resolution on them. At December that year, we went live to our production environment and started with testing uh, with 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 a small group of users. And in June 2021, we went live um, with the application's UI to specific groups of analysts. And what have been the results so far that have come up from this project? Yeah, so we, we initially implemented the user interface at the KYC teams that execute the, the more complex or time-consuming investigations. So what they experience is that they have to do less effort to understand the data about the clients and, and, it con and its context. So concretely, uh, KYC activities cost less time. And for the real financial crime investigation, this means that it is easier to identify a criminal network. And what are your some of the some of future plans relating to this initiative? So that's, that's, that's multiple things. Um, first of all, onboard new data sources. Uh, currently, we do have the, the client database, the company registry, uh, transactions of our clients, and um, and some offshore uh, offshore leaks. Um, and what we're adding is is basically any any information relevant for financial crime, uh, like internal case information, and um, external sources like sanctioned entities, and and many other uh, contextual sources. So. Second one is uh, rolling out this user interface to a wider group of KYC and financial crime analysts. Um, the main value currently, uh, if you look at the sources onboarded and, and, and the current state of the platform, is in understanding the network of the client. So therefore also we're, we're busy with onboarding these uh, uh, teams that execute more complex or time-consuming investigations. Um, we want to produce data regarding resolved entities and their networks and, and use that in other capabilities within detecting financial crime. And last is uh, we need to bring in risk identification and interpretation logic uh, to be able to further aid investigators and automate parts of their activities. Mm -hmm. Great. It would be interesting to learn more about your future innovation efforts in this area as well. So good luck with that. And also, uh, thanks for joining today and congratulations once again for winning this award. Thank you, Arin. Thanks. And thank you to our listeners for your interest in this topic. If you would like to learn more, please visit our website, salen.com, where a detailed case study is available to Salen subscribers. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day.